There's nothing good about our life right now, Fiona. We're living on the edge. We barely have enough money to survive. I wish there was a way I could help them make more money, but I'm just a kid. <laughs> Quiet, Fiona. If anyone finds out about our daughter's ability, we'll all be in serious trouble. Hey, Albert. How was work today? Why do you even bother asking? You know my answer is always going to be the same. It was horrible. I hate every single day of work. I'm sorry. I just thought that maybe something good happened today. <sighs> There's nothing good about our life right now, Fiona. We're living on the edge. We barely have enough money to survive. My entire salary goes into the rent for this house, the food that we get from groceries and Nina's school fees. We're not saving a single penny. Not only that, but the work I do just sucks. It's the worst job ever. My boss is always mocking and humiliating me, shouting at me in front of all the other employees. Oh, I just want to quit. I know it's hard, Albert, but we have to keep pushing through. My job at the bakery isn't any good either. I don't get the money that I should, considering how hard I work there. I work extra hours every single day just to try to increase my earnings at least a little bit. But it's not enough. I just barely increase my income. We both have to keep pushing through and get through this together, both for our sakes and for Nina's sake. Oh, you're right. Complaining about our work lives won't do us any good. We should try looking for solutions and better jobs, but until then, we're just stuck with what we currently have, whether we like it or not. We have to earn money somehow, right? for you. How was your day today? Oh, it was great. How was yours? How much did you play with your toys today? I was playing with my toys all day today, Dad. It was so much fun. Also, I wanted to ask you for something. There's this new spaceship toy that I want to buy. It looks really, really cool, and I would be super duper happy if you got it for me. It's for 50 bucks. Please, Dad. Please. 50 bucks? I'd love to get it for you, Nina, but it's a little too expensive for your dad. We really don't have that kind of money right now. We're saving every penny, so I'm sorry, honey, but I can't afford to buy a toy spaceship for 50 bucks. But hey, if there's any other toy that's cheaper, I can get that one for you for sure. But I wanted to get the spaceship toy. Now I'm sad. All my friends are getting that toy. I want to get it too. Nina, please try to understand the situation that we're in right now. You know how much we've been struggling recently, don't you? Life has been really hard. We're really struggling to make money, and it's not easy. Once things ease down a bit and we have more money, I promise you that I will get you your spaceship toy. How does that sound? All right, Mom, but please don't forget. I'll keep reminding you so that you can get it from me as soon as you get the chance to buy it. <sighs> I feel really bad now. I know how much mom and dad are struggling these days. I wish there was a way I could help them make more money, but there isn't. I'm just a kid, so there's nothing I can do. I can just wish and hope that things get better soon, but I really wish I could do something. What are those noises? They sound like my PlayStation. Did something happen to my PlayStation? What are you doing to my PlayStation? Oh, no! Oh, um, well, I was just moving it somewhere else. Just changing its position, you know? Wait, you weren't! You were about to put that PlayStation in that cardboard box! Why are you lying to me, Mom? We're gonna have to sell your PlayStation, Nina. I'm sorry, but we don't have enough money to pay the rent for this month, so don't have any other choice. We're gonna have to sell stuff from our house to get enough money for the rent. This is unfair! Why don't you sell something else from the house? I play on my PlayStation all the time! What am I going to do without my PlayStation? I'm really sorry, Nina, but there's nothing else we can do. This isn't fair! This isn't fair! <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh my god, Albert, am I am I seeing things or did she just cry out gold? You're seeing this too? I I thought there was something wrong with my eyes. There's there's no way that's real gold, right? It, it, it can't be. It's it's impossible. It looks like real gold to me. Look at that glow on it. There's no way it's not real. And it came straight out of her eyes. Albert, our daughter just cried tears of gold. Can you believe it? What just happened? Did I actually just cry gold? Did that piece of gold really come out of my eyes just now? Fiona, our daughter's special. She doesn't cry normal tears like everyone else. She cries gold. Real, legitimate, authentic gold. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Grab our gold bars right now. Let's store it somewhere safe. And uh, I'll try to look for a place that we can sell this gold and get some money for it. Oh my God. Well, I can finally quit my job. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be millionaires, Fiona. there. We have a gold piece that we'd like to sell to you. You can check it out yourself too. I'll need to see the gold piece myself to confirm its legitimacy. I have a lot of people trying to sell me fake gold all the time over here. You have no idea. All right, let me see the gold. <laughs> wow, I... I don't even have words. I can't believe this. This is the purest gold I've ever seen. It has 100% purity. Not a single scratch on it either. It's brand new. Where did you find this? If you don't mind me asking. Sorry, but you know I can't answer that. It's a secret. Now tell me, how much money is that gold piece worth? This piece is worth 50 million bucks or more. This thing's exclusive. The purest one I've ever seen. Most gold pieces that come here for 20 million bucks, but this, oh, this one's special. All right, the money will be given you in your bank accounts, and uh, unless you want the money in cash? 50, 50 million. That, that's insane. God, we're gonna be so rich, we're gonna be multi-millionaires! Oh, oh, oh my god, this is so crazy. If you could uh, give all the money in cash, please, uh, that would be really nice. I prefer having my money as physical cash. All right then, cash it is. I can't believe this is actually happening. This is a miracle. I can't believe our daughter can- Quiet, Fiona. Don't shout it out so loud so that everyone can hear us. This is our little secret. If anyone finds out about our daughter's ability, we'll all be in serious trouble. You know how crazy people are for money these days, don't you? They'll do anything to get rich. You're right. I'm really sorry, Albert. We need to keep this thing a secret. A big secret. No one will ever find out about this. We will be the only ones in the world who know about the secret. We need to talk to Nina about this too. We need to talk to her and tell her not to share the secret with anyone, especially her friends in school. No one can know about this, Albert. Let's go home and talk to Nina. <laughs> We have a big surprise for you. Do you want to guess what it is? Does it have something to do with the gold that I cried out this morning? Bingo! You got that part right. But what exactly is it? I'm not sure. Why don't you just show it to me? All right then, here you go. We're gonna have really good times ahead, Nina. We won't need to worry about money at all anymore. We just hit the lottery. With your tears, we'll become the richest people in the world in no time. It's gonna be amazing from here on out. Yes, I'm so glad to hear that. I've always wondered if there was anything I could do to help you both out with your money problems. So I'm really happy that I can finally help out. Yes, we're really happy too, but Nina, we needed to talk to you about something. 
we need you to promise us that you won't tell anyone else about your tears, okay? No one else in the world should know that you can cry real gold, alright? Not even your friends at school, the teachers, not even your relatives. If your grandparents or relatives come to visit us, you need to make sure you don't cry in front of them, alright? We need to keep this a secret. If you let anyone else find out, you'll be putting us, and more importantly yourself, in danger. People are crazy for money, and they're willing to do anything to get rich. So, can you promise us not to share this secret with anyone else? Of course, Dad. I won't tell a single other soul about our little secret. It stays between us. All right, that's perfect. Now that we're so rich, I think the first thing we should do is start looking for a better house to buy. With the money that we have, we can definitely buy an enormous mansion. Yeah, you're right. Let's start looking. This mansion is so beautiful and enormous too, but it's for a hundred million bucks and we've only had 50 million. This mansion literally has everything that we need. A swimming pool, a theater, a nice view, a lot of greenery, sports courts everywhere, and a huge library. I really want to buy this mansion. Same. It's always been my dream to get a mansion like this. Beautiful house which has everything. We just need 50 million more to get this place. Normally that'd be too much for us, but now we have Nina. As long as we have Nina, there's nothing in the world we can't afford. We can use Nina to get as much money as we want. She's a money-making machine. You're right, we just need her to cry again. I'll go and talk to her right now. What's up? I see you're enjoying your spaceship toy a lot. Are you making it fly into the galaxy far, far away? Yes, Mom, it's such a cool toy. I can go to any Star Wars adventure that I want to with this toy. It's incredible, and it goes really well with all the other toys that I have, too. That's great to know. Also, I wanted to ask a favor of you. We're about to buy this really nice mansion, but we still need a little more money until we can afford it. We were wondering if you could just cry again so that we can get a pile of gold bars from you. One more gold bar should be enough for us to afford that mansion. That's great, Mom, but crying isn't something I can do whenever I want. I only cry when I'm really sad, and right now, I'm really happy. I can't force myself to cry. But Nina, the house is only on sale until tomorrow. We need to buy it as soon as we can or someone else might buy it. I need you to cry, right now. But Mom, I can't. I don't like crying. I like being happy. Why would you want your own daughter to cry? Ugh. Fine, whatever. Keep playing with your spaceship toy then. I'll be back, Nina. It's no use, Albert. She won't cry. What do we do now? What do you mean she won't cry? We can't let that happen. She's our main source of income now. We need her to cry. Not crying is not an option. It isn't her choice to make. We're finally not struggling financially anymore. We're in such a good position. Life is so much better and stress-free now. I won't let a stupid excuse ruin everything. If she doesn't want to cry, then we'll make her cry. Take away her spaceship toy or something. I'm sure that'll make her cry. That's a great idea. I'll go and do that right now. Nina, you've been playing with that spaceship toy for long enough now. I'm taking it away from you, and I'm never going to give it back to you ever again. Mom, what are you talking about? No, 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 Mom, please give it back, please. <laughs> Oh 
my gosh. Keep it up, Nina. Look at all that gold. We're gonna be crazy rich. She didn't just cry a pile of gold bars this time. She cried two piles worth of gold bars. It's more than last time. I can't believe this. The more she cries, the richer we're gonna get. We just need to make sure Nina keeps giving us our gold. If she doesn't want to cry, then we'll just force her to cry just like we did. Albert, I did it! We have the gold now! Now, let's go take it to the jewelry store and get even more money! Ever since that day, my life has changed after my parents found out I cry real gold. My parents don't love me anymore. They only see me as a money-making machine and nothing more. Whenever they needed money or found something expensive that they couldn't afford, they'd make me cry so that I would give them free gold. I started to hate my parents. We didn't even need half the things they bought. They didn't even need to buy them, but they bought them anyway just to show off or make themselves look more elite. We live in a really big mansion now, but what's the point of having all this money if I'm still not happy? happy. I'm just really happy that mom and dad didn't change my school. I have two really cool best friends in that school. They're the best that no one could ask for in a best friend. And they've been the only good thing about my life so far. All my good memories are with them. If mom and dad changed my school, I wouldn't be able to talk to them as much or spend as much time with them as I do right now. I would have hated that. I would have really missed them a lot. Well, at least there's one good thing about my life right now. I found it really cool that I could cry out real gold, but I hated it overall because that was the reason why my life took the worst turn. I thought it wouldn't get any worse, but one day I discovered something even more shocking. I was just reading when I read something that made me laugh. And then this happened. Why is this character dressed as a teddy bear in a Halloween party? Is it supposed to be a scary teddy bear? Oh wait, I get it now. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> No way. Did I just laugh out real diamonds? That's impossible! 